either. So this video is all about the Bobby Pearl production. So there are many different uh, species of animals that are used to produce Bobby Pearls or half pearls as they're also known. And uh, there are very few available videos out there that you can find and see the techniques. So this video is about providing you with some uh, information, visual information about the techniques for Mabi or half pearl production. So there's one particular video that I'm just going to use little snips and I will place the link to that video in the description uh, so you can go and watch it. Okay, so here we have the video from the Boss Pearls. We see a rainbow of pearl oysters in the capable hands of my friend, uh, Dr. Victor Acosta. He pulled back the mantle. Now he has a spoon, a plastic spoon, a disposable one. He placed a little uh, implant in it, placed a drop of uh, glue, as you can see. Now he's harvesting the pearl oyster. He's washing the shell. And uh, with this, uh, he will proceed to cut it with a Dremel. So you can see it's uh, uh, much of a handcraft in this case. Now he cut the shell, he polished it. Right now he's filling up, it up with epoxy resin. He's attaching it to the shell. And then the shell is again cut. And now finally the pearls are polished. And you can see the final process. Once the pearl has been removed, it can receive a second graft or a mabi can be created. The mabi grafts are placed directly on the shell of the oyster, which covers it in mother of pearl. The mabi is the result. Now these older oysters are returned to the lagoon and hung on strings with a hole pierced through the shell. When the oyster is harvested for the final time, it is opened to check for pearls and mabi. Each oyster is searched thoroughly with the occasional reward. pearls but they require finishing to turn them into pieces suitable for jewelers. First the mabi must be cut free from their shells. The nucleus is left behind and the mother of pearl shape or mabi is cleaned and scrubbed ready for shaping and polishing. Using a high-speed grinder the mabi is reduced to its essential shape. Rémy Boucher is the biggest producer of Mabi in French Polynesia and these pieces will be exported all over the world. Polishing brings out the luster on the Mabi and reveals the different colors of each piece. This is Manuel Nava and he's seeding a rainbow lit pearl oyster. The size of the oysters we used in those days were quite small and he's attaching the implant on the shell. You can see the implants being uh, with some glue being applied. The animals, after being taken care of in the ocean for uh, 18 months, they're taken out for harvest. And finally, you can see how the shells are cut. And uh, the mobby pearl is uh, almost ready to be processed at this point. And these, this would be the final product the way it looks uh, the grading. Yeah, this is in Ecuador. They're using the rainbow lip pearl oyster again. And you can see a unique technique. It's uh, they kind of flip it. So with their tweezers, they grab the implant, they apply a drop of crazy glue, and then they put it inside the oyster and they kind of backflip it. Uh, here you can see the final product which looks quite nice. Okay, so now we're um, on the video that I would love you to go and watch com the complete episode, okay? And again, I will place uh, the link on the description. But um, what is happening here? Basically, they're using the Mabe Gai, or uh, a penguin uh, winged pearl oyster, Teria penguin. Mm -hmm. They open it up and uh, they insert 
the Mavi inserts. They attach them to the shell using a special tool. The tools you can actually make with just a wire <laughs> if you want to. You will see the Mavi inserts. They have different shapes. Uh -huh. And what I particularly like about this video is that, that they use a system that's very different to the one I'm used to. And then, of course, the animals are left in the ocean for eight months, usually. They're brought back, they're harvested, and what you're seeing is the animal being harvested. The pearls are there on the shell. The shells, uh, once the flesh is removed and the shells are left to dry a bit, they're taken over to the cutting uh, board, to the place where the people are cutting the mobby from the shell using uh, these high-speed cutting tools uh, that will spray water most of the part. Remember one thing of importance if you're handling mother of pearl shell, the dust, if you inhale it, it's really bad. It's bad for your lungs. It can cause something very similar to silicosis and you definitely don't want that. So either you work with masks or with air extractors or use water. So instead of dust, you will have just like mother pro cream in your hands and it will make your, your hands look nicer. <laughs> anyway, once uh, you have the mobby pearls cut from the shell, they have to be cleaned and then the process begins. They will use the epoxy resin to fill the dome and then a piece of shell will be affixed on the backside. Okay, so um, all of this is described in the course but these are just images so you can get a better idea of what we're talking. Thank you.